Come with us as we take you into the throne room of God's healing. Today is your day. It's a day for your miracle, a day that God has set for you. David said, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and bless the name of the Lord. I want you to know that God is so excited to bless you that you will have life and have it abundant. Today, I welcome you to the miracle family for you to receive the miracle that God has set for you. Get ready because God is about to change everything in your life, about your life, through your life for his glory. On today's edition, I want to share with you how to take delivery of what God has said for you, planned for you, and prepared for you. God has a plan for you. The Bible says, my plan are not evil, but of good to give you an expected end. Let me tell you something. If where you are is not what you are expecting, it's not the end. Until you come to the place of seeing that what you are looking for, desiring for, believing for, is what you're walking in, it's not the end. And I always say that it doesn't matter what you're going through, what you're passing through. It is not the conclusion of what you are passing. It's not the conclusion of your life. Amen. God is the only one that can change this life of yours. Amen. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel because God is about to show you the other good side of your life. We know Jesus as a simple preacher. He's a simple teacher. Jesus teaches the word beautifully. He, he picks a small seed and he begins to teach the word with seed. Sometimes he says, the kingdom of God is like a fisherman. And sometimes he says, the kingdom of God is like a, a farmer who plants. Because he always wants his children to understand the scripture. Because the scripture is given to us for our understanding. You see, man's problem is just only one. If you don't have understanding, you can't solve an issue. Every problem is a language. Whether it be money, whether it be marriage, everything that you face on earth, it is understanding problem. And I want you to know that you are created to solve a problem. Amen. You are not created for a problem. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything you go through, everything you pass through, just have in your mind that each morning that you wake up, you are a problem solver. Yeah. He has given you the word so that you can word the separated life together. And you must understand that whatever you are going through each day, each hour, each minute, God is still speaking solution to every situation. Yeah. This is the word of God to us. In the book of John chapter 14, verse number 12 and to, to 14, it says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you ask anything in my name, if you only ask anything in my name, I will do it. And the reason why a lot of us don't get what we ask from God is because we ask things based on our qualifications. Because we keep on telling God that, God, I went to school for this, but I, don't, I didn't have that job. I have this qualification. I'm so beautiful for marriage. But you see, how beautiful you are doesn't grant you the marriage you are looking for. How educated you are doesn't give you what you are looking for. He says, if you ask it in my name, not in the name of the church, not in the name of the pastor. If you ask it in my name, I will do it. Now, and, and let's check this. Who is God? What is the word of God? In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and God was the word. So the simplest thing a person should understand is what the word of God is saying about you. In the book of Revelation chapter 19, the Bible says that, and, and the one who sat on the horse, there was a name written, and his name is called the word of God. So if you want to ask anything whether it be marriage, finances, whether it be healing, anything you are looking for, one of the things you should understand is that what is the name of God? The name of God is the word of God. So if I can ask in the word of God, God has no option. Do you know the Bible says that what we see belongs to us, but what we don't see belongs to God. But the word of God is the only 
glasses, spectacles, that allow us a revelation into what God is not ready to give to us. So the moment, the moment you study the word of God and you get to know that this is written about me, God can keep it in the treasure. He is compared to release it to you. And probably you are watching, believing God for your healing, believing God for breakthrough, peace in the marriage, peace at work. You believe in God for a supernatural manifestation. Just tune in to the word. Amen. Get connected to the word. Amen. Receive the word. Amen. If you ask anything in my name, I will. That means that God has a will. <laughs> you cannot... You cannot ask anything out of the will of God. And what is the will of God? God has three powerful things that um, believers must know. It is, number one, it's called the will of God, the name of God, and the personality of God. But what releases the miracle to us is the will of God. Because the word of God is the will of God. And the Bible says in the book of 1 John, the book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, as, as we confess to him, he forgives our sins. And therefore the Bible says, when he forgives our sins, he raises us to his level. Now I want to tell you this, and I want you to understand it very well. God wants to deal with human beings who are at his level. Because anytime God sees us, begging, it saddens his heart. It pains him. Because in the beginning, it wasn't so. In the beginning, he created us in his image. We had dominion, power, and authority. And men fell through sin, and we lost those things. But thank be to God that when Jesus Christ came, he came to give us life and give us abundance. Because in the, listen to this, in the garden, we didn't, lose, uh, we didn't lose religion in the garden. We lost relationship. Yeah. And so God, only, only solution to man is to build a relationship. And what is the relationship of God with man? It is man understanding the language of God. And God speaks only one language. He speaks the language of his word. Yeah. If you can understand the word of God, you can never be broke. Let me say this. Carriers of God's word are carriers of unlimited power. Amen. If you carry God's word, you are carrying unlimited power. You can't be denied. You can't be rejected. You can't you can be refused. And you can't be at the back of life. Now, this is what God wants us to have. He gave us his will. He gave us his word. And he gave us his personality. And the personality of God is the presence of God. Anywhere the presence of God reveal the, the manifesting glory of God, there comes a guarantee. For now the Lord is a spirit, and wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is total, not, not half liberty, there is total. I don't believe in, in, in a process of healing. I believe in instant healing because God is of total. He is not of half. So the Bible says the earth and everything, not the earth and the half. The earth and everything because God is always full of something. He's so full of blessing to the point that when you sin and he wants to correct you, he corrects you with his goodness. <laughs> you don't pay for the message of God. You don't pay for the goodness of God. To a point that when you begin to seek God, he pays you for seeking him. For he reward them that diligently seek him. God wants to reward you with a miracle. He wants to reward you with breakthrough. He wants to reward you with life and life abundant. He just wants you to be proud in life. If you ask anything in my name, I will. Because I'm connected to my word. All you got to do is to set my word before me. Find yourself in the word because in the beginning, God created us in his image and we are somewhere in the scripture hidden. Now, let me tell you something. Everybody have a future to fulfill, but your future is connected to the scriptures. 
And it is the scriptures that gives you the picture of your future. So if you can't get understanding of the scriptures, you've lost your future. Don't do it without a word. The hour has come. The set time for liberation is here. Experience the power of God. Join thousands in worship every Tuesday, impartation service at 7 p.m. Thursday, financial breakthrough service at 10 a.m. Friday, all night service at 10 p.m. And Miracle Sunday services, first service at 9 a.m., second at 11 a.m., and a prophetic healing service at 5 p.m. For more information, call 1-800-807-7617. Jesus Christ came from heaven, died on the cross, shed his blood, that the two of us will enjoy the benefit of God's relationship with man. Now hear me. When you understand God's desire, his passion, his love for his people, you will know how good God is. Regardless of your religious background, you may be a Muslim, Hindu, anything you can be, one thing you have to understand is that God has more love than how we have religion. Amen. Understanding the language of God connects you to the things of God, and it makes it so beautiful for you to live God's divine abundant life. Now, in the book of John 3, 16, the Bible says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Now, hear this, that we will have the God kind of life, the Zoe life. And that is the life when you receive, you begin to walk like God, you move like God. And moving like God is not just in prosperity, in breakthrough. You have to understand this, that this world is covered with darkness. We fight against principalities, darkness, rulers of this age. And if you move like God, you carry the authority of God. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4, says that wherever the word of the king is, there is power. So God wants to bring us to the element of power, to the realms of power. And it takes only power to make the impossible possible. So get ready. Anything you believe in God for is all in the word. If you can find it in the word, you will come into a place of fullness, fulfillment, joy, and overflow. The word of God says that if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And as I studied the word, God began to um, deal with me with, with a will. And he showed me that every individual on earth needs a will to take a property rightfully. You need to get a will. You can, be, you can be anything. You can be the firstborn. If your father wills his property to somebody else, you can't take it. Being a biological son, you can never take it until you have the will in your hands that your father has given to you as a power of attorney for you to take what is your father's. And Jesus didn't just die and saved us, washed us with his blood, but he died and left us a will. He gave us a will, the will for you to be free, the will for you to be healed. The will says that I am healed by his stripes. The will of God says that I will live a life and live abundant in Christ Jesus. The will of God says that I'm not a tail, but I'm the head. If you can carry the will to God, you divinely take possession and delivery of what God has for you. Yeah. A young man, um, the two young boys who went to their father and said, we are of age, give us what belongs to us. They took it, squandered it. And the Bible said when the young son took it away, he squandered it. But whilst he was still eating with the pigs, in Luke chapter 2 and Luke chapter 15, whilst he was eating with the pigs, he said, how many servants my father had? He used the word that made him come back home. The word that brought him home is not because he, 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 he is hungry. He said, how many servants my father? That means if your father is alive, you can't live like an orphan. If your father is alive, you cannot be sick. If your father is alive, you cannot be broke. And this good God bluffed with everything. He said, listen to this. If the best of this earth, 
that flies do not weed. They don't plant, but I feed and clothe in them. How much more you? So your father is proud to take care of you. You know how it saddened his heart to see you complaining every day of your life. And the reason why you're complaining is because you keep on telling people your father have a lot of properties. But you are not showing the power of attorney of your father's will. You have to show the will. And the will is the word of God. It says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. I will not wait for it. I will do it. In the scripture, anytime God sees his word talking to him, he is forced to do it. Because God's word is God. If the word is broken, God is broken. And the scriptures cannot be broken. The scriptures is the image of God. It's the authority of God. And for you to walk in the supernatural realms of possibilities, you must have the word of God with you. You must go back to the Bible. Go back to the word. And the word says that it gave you dominion. Which means that everywhere you are found, you must display power. Everywhere you are found, you must display authority. Everywhere you are found, you must display the goodness of God. And all is written in the word. If you will ask anything, <laughs> he didn't limit it. Anything, anything, anything. One time, uh, an army commander came to Jesus and um, he said something to Jesus. He said, Jesus, my son, my, my servant is sick. Please, will you, will, you, will, you, will you pray for my servant? And Jesus said to the, the, the man, he said, this is what I'm going to do. I, I'm going to go with you and when I go with you, I, I will heal your servant. The man said, sir, don't come with me. Speak the word. Because, you know, you are coming to my home. It's not needed for you to come to my home because where you are is my home. Because this is my father's house. I built this house. So if you stand here and speak, you are speaking just as you are in my home. All God wants you to know is that where your marriage is, where your husband is, where your healing is, if the word of God can dwell in this temple... If it can be in this temple, you can speak any word. You can talk any word and there will be miracle in your life. Speak the word. Speak the word. Carrying just the Bible and closing the Bible, do you no help? But opening the scriptures, speaking the scriptures to the year of God, does the Lord. I want you to understand that God is interested in your healing. God is interested in your breakthrough. God is interested in your freedom. He died. He made it for you. He, he wants you to walk into it. And the only thing that guarantees a sure breakthrough is the word of God. Because that is the right currency to buy the miracle you are looking for. Because if you don't get a miracle through the word, and you get it through a man of God at church, you will lose it. Because everything fades, but the word do not fade. So if your miracle... If your miracle comes as a result of the spoken word with the revelation, rest assured. Let the enemy fight you. Let people hate you. Let there be a lot of enemies. The more they hate you, there's the moment he anoints your head with oil and your cup runneth over and goodness and mercy follows you. I want you to take you to the miracle service. Experience the testimonies of people who believe God and trust God. A miracle arena for all nations. We witness miracles every time of our service. Miracles are the food that God gives to his children. And again, hear this. Miracles are just introduction of God's goodness. Anytime a person appears before God's presence, he gives them a miracle. We do not only have miracles in miracle at miracle arena, but we also share the word of faith to give you faith and to build your hope. For you to know there is hope for your future. Yeah. I'm coming back to pray with you. Experience the atmosphere of miracle. Service already in progress. For over one year, he's been diagnosed and suffering from Crohn's disease. The hour has come. The set time for liberation is here. Experience the power of God.
join thousands in worship. Every Tuesday, impartation service at 7 p.m. Thursday, financial breakthrough service at 10 a.m. Friday, all night service at 10 p.m. And Miracle Sunday services. First service at 9 a.m. Second at 11 a.m. And a prophetic healing service at 5 p.m. For more information, call 1-800-807-7617 or visit MiracleArena.ca. Miracle Arena for all nations. Revolutionizing the world for Jesus. Prophet Jesus has healed this man from Crohn's disease. From over one year, he's been diagnosed and suffering from Crohn's disease. He used to have severe stomach pain. Eight pills a day. Doctor eight put pills him on a day. Eight pills a day. During one of our service, you call him out of the crowd and you lay hands on him. He fell down under the power. Since then, he's no longer on medication. The pains have went away. Lift your voice and give Jesus a mighty praise. Eight pills a day. With that eight pills and about diarrhea about eight nine times a day severe pain he said you lay hands on him during one of the service he fell under the power and today he's here come come out lift it to him unto you Miracle Arena is taking the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the nations of the world through your generous support. The gospel is free, but the logistics are costly. We are therefore asking that you consider becoming a monthly partner or plant a one-time seed to spread the good news to the nations of the world. Should you choose to do so, you will be placed on our miracle prayer list and you will receive a personal prophecy from Prophet Kofi Donso. Please call 1-800-807-7617 or visit MiracleArena.ca and make a donation now. Bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Now listen to me. I feel a divine power coming through this set into your house. I don't want you to feel like God has forsaken you, forgotten you, or rejected you. You might have been in that problem for a long time, but I'm here as a prophet of God. He sent me because of you so that you can feel the power of his miracle. And I want to share something from the word of God. At Matthew chapter 8, verse 16, the Bible says, at night, at the evening time, they brought them that were demonized and possessed. And the Bible said he cast out the demons by his word. Now hear me. If you will just hear this word, if you had me and you are hearing me, it is your time for your own liberty. Yeah. You are about to experience God's divine healing miracle in your house. And if you are sick, I want you to lay your hands, any part of your body that you feel sick. And if you have any issue, some of us have too much of bales that we can't even sleep at night. I want you to grab all those bales, lay your hands on the bales, because Jesus is the one who will take care of that. Listen, you can't catch up with these bales with the normal work you are doing. You need supernatural power. You need favor. You need God to move on your behalf. Some of us are too late in life that even we are thinking late. But hear this. There is a new grace, fresh oil, about to come upon you right now. I want to pray with you, with my team. We want to stretch forward our hands towards you. We want to pray, believe God, trust God for you, for that healing. In the name of Jesus, we command the spirit of cancer. We command any blood pressure. And we command any sickness from the crowns of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. There is somebody who is watching right now. Ma'am, you have this pain um, at, at your waist area, um, with, your, with your hip area and waist area. You have this pain and it looks like um, there, is, there is a surgery that has been scheduled for you. But God is touching you right now. Uh, you watch the miracle that God did in the service and he's going to do the same thing in your life right now. And there is a young man, I see a heart surgery, a heart surgery, it looks like open heart surgery. I decree in the name of Jesus that the spirit of God begin to touch you right now and set you free, set you free, set you free. There is a lady, your third toe, your third, third toe, you, you can't move it and it's painful. And I see this wound that wouldn't, wouldn't get healed. In the name of Jesus, let that be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There is a lawyer. You've had a problem. And it looks like you've lost your licenses. The Lord wants me to minister to you today. Um, you, 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 you are believing to, to have um, this thing back again. Because I'm looking at a court date. I'm looking at a court date. And the Lord is speaking to me. The first week, the first week in May, there is a court date. You've been going and you're not too sure if you're going to get it because you have more witnesses against you. Now, if you want to accept Jesus now, if you want to allow him to come into your life and fight the battles for you, you will have a testimony. I, I believe it. I know. I met a man who was a Muslim, had 72 charges, and I told him to believe in Jesus gave his life to Jesus, went into the courtroom, and all the 72 charges were just dropped. Amen. God is about to do the same miracle to you right now. I want to pray for a woman, a woman you have a problem with your eye. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if you are watching, including the lawyer, you want to accept Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Today, I confess my sins and I accept in my heart as my Lord and personal Savior in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you pray this prayer, find a Bible-believing church, go fellowship, go be a member, dwell in a place where God's word will be taught with understanding. My name is Prophet Kofi Danso, and if you want to partnership with us to make this dream a fulfilling, I want you to look at the number and call right now. Somebody is ready to pray with you, talk to you, and give you more information. Shalom, peace, and life to you. Bye-bye.